Hi, I'm inside a London studio. Seeing is believing, Sam. Seeing is believing. Oh my god, look at this. So nice. You can see like almost like a model. All the cabinet inside. With Air Canada, the world is at your fingertips. I know we're gonna do this, I promise you. I think the virtual reality did a fantastic introduction of their cabin. That is straight my anger now. What I'm wearing is an Oculus Rift, or you call it hat mounted display. Inside this, what I'm gonna see momentarily is the future of aviation virtual reality. Follow me. What we'd like to show Sam today is some of our recent work with Air Canada for their Dreamliner aircraft, 787. Um, so we're gonna take Sam through an entire end-to-end -end experience of that aircraft, including a destination scene. Well, I don't believe this. I'm gonna trust you this time, Greg, because you told me I don't have to go to an airport to go on the Air Canada plane to experience it all. This is awesome, this is my virtual hands. To start your journey, grab your Take luggage to your right, and you can find your baggage to check in. So you, you grab the luggage by the handle, exactly. I am very interested. Look at this global coverage. You see, they fly to all over India, Dubai, all over Asia, Pat, Hong Kong, Korea, Japan. Exactly. Wow, I got to spin a Boeing 787. I'm spinning a plane. It's an awesome. Oh my god, look at this. So nice. You can see, like, almost like a model of all the cabinet inside. I'm already sitting in 65G in the middle. I don't know how some of that is in here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the air temp that I'm taking. Yeah, oh yeah, it yeah. grows. Where's that new magazine? Also, if you press the buttons to your left, just underneath the cubby, and you can control the reading lights as well. So if you just point your fingers towards it, yeah. that's it, there you go. You can see the change in the lighting that sits around you. So um, there's a number of different elements that you can interact with here. There's your menu to your right, you can open that. Um, and you can select different kinds of drinks, and that'll then move. How about a glass of red wine? Good choice. We've curated this menu with their calendar very closely, so this reflects the, the onboard menu that they have thanks to their collaboration with, them, with the Canadian. I channel. really think this is going to be the future air travel experience. And cut out and have a nice tuna. Mm. Yummy. Salad. Amazing. Mm. Well, yeah. Hopefully, I don't spill my shirt. Yeah. I'm going to have a steak. Not really, it is like, but I'm not full. Oh, I'm hungry. Actually. I'm getting more hungry looking at all these food now. Okay, here you are. Oh, this is really amazing. Here you go. Mm. I'm gonna have a cake for my dessert. Oh, nice chocolate cake. And if you look outside the windows, you can see the beginnings of the Northern Lights. You can see a bit of the Northern Lights experience. Oh, we just landed, I believe. You're about to be in a quintessential Canadian wow. summer. Look at this. I have never seen the uh, long night, but now the first time seeing it is actually in a virtual reality. Wow. Right, Where are you, Greg? <laughs> I moved. You moved. I knew you were to do this. this. I'm out of the firing line just now. Uh, huh. Yay. Here you go. Beautiful. This is like in virtual reality. You don't have to wear warm clothes to experience Canada. Amazing. Oh, this is the 737 Max. I know they're soon to start doing the uh, transatlantic, like London Heathrow on 737 Max now from St. John and Halifax. Pull it up here, look at the configuration here. Oh, look. Looks like it's gonna. Okay, this time I'm gonna try out the economy first. I'm not gonna try this as well. Oh, I'm sitting. Oh, my massive leg room here. This is unreal. <laughs> So is this the, the first time you've actually been on board in Air Canada at 737 MAX and stuff? Indeed, I'm inside the 737 MAX now in the virtual reality. Okay, have a look. This is the menu on board today. Okay, lasagna, fish, looking good. Okay, let's see what this thing is. 4C. 
Oh, I self upgraded myself, didn't I? Like, Mid flight. Let me have a look at the magazine again. Okay. Nice magazine. Let's look here. This is the tray table. Okay. I'll open this. Ah, this is where you get the PowerPoint charging, the USB power lift, our USB outlet. This is the cocktail table. Very nice. I know what that does. There's the economy class ticket there. I'm not going back to economy. <laughs> and now let me order a glass of white wine. I wonder if this is a Sauvignon Blanc or this is uh, roast, this is a Chardonnay or whatever. You know. So the food as well, as you're uh, about to see, is entirely representative of what's actually on board because it's a photogrammetric process. We, we 3D scan all the food directly with it. Getting very hungry, Greg. Yeah, it does yeah. that. No, yeah. 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 yeah, it looks very nice. It's too realistic. Mm. In, in my imagination now, I'm full, so I'm going to move on to the next course, chocolate brownie. Just for fun, let me see. Oh, I can grab the plates here. Can I throw somewhere? Oh, I did. Oh no. <laughs> I normally don't do this, I promise you, but because it's, it's an empty cabin, I just want to test out how good is the virtual experience and uh, it allowed me to throw food. I promise you I don't do that again. Sorry. We knew Sam Chu was a rowdy passenger. Yeah, never again. I'm seeing as we know that you've got aspirations to have your own airline at some point one day, we thought we'd, uh, we'd show you this experience that we created with the seat designer Pearson Lloyd. Welcome aboard. Please make yourself comfortable and enjoy our award-winning service. Should there be anything we can do to make your journey more comfortable, please don't hesitate to ask. Amazing! Oh no, I'm back in reality. I want to go back to virtual experience. This is amazing. 